Hey everyone, happy Monday to you. I hope you're doing well. Uh, just trying to get some final things set up here. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Sorry we didn't do a game stream over the weekend. I was busy doing some uh, things with my family. The boy had a soccer tournament uh, where his team of eighth graders almost beat a team of high schoolers. Yes, that's right, a team of high schoolers. Uh, the final score on that game was 4-5. to five. The only reason why they lost by the one point is because the uh, eighth graders were super, super tired by the end of 45 minutes of play, and uh, the high schoolers still had a little bit of energy in them, and they were able to slide those last two goals in within the last four or five minutes of the game. It was really fun to see them, and even the side, uh, the uh, side. Well, I guess he was just another one of the refs because they only had the. It's one of those uh, two ref games. Uh, he was a college student and was just like, I can't believe these eighth graders are beating the high schoolers uh, all the way through. So that was that was a lot of fun. Uh, so that is what I did on Saturday, and we didn't get done with that until after 3 o'clock. So by the time we got home and got cleaned up, because we were outside sweating in the hot sun, we've had rain, cool, cooler temperatures, and then 104 degrees for this soccer tournament. So it was fun, uh, lots of fun. Uh, but uh, and so that's why I didn't have the the game stream on Saturday. So uh, that is where we sit with that. And now we're here on Monday, and I thought we would get back into some Street Masters action this week, and uh, see what we could do about taking on a new boss and a new uh, group. And you know, I thought about taking on Along again because once you defeat them. Once you defeat the boss twice, then it becomes an unlockable character that you can then use in the game. Not as just an ally, but as a playable character. So I was very excited about that, but I thought it might be better to kind of move along and see what the other bosses could do. And so uh, today, we are going to take on the cartel, led by Juan. And I went and picked up, as I told you, uh, that in the last Kickstarter that they did for the, um, whatever the heck the name of that full-on um, all-in-one box was, one of the things that you could get was this companion book that I thought had some information. Now, it gives you, like, history and backstory on all of these things, but I thought we would take on the cartel, and it does. I mean, there are pages and pages and pages of... Let's just go back to this. Of... Uh, of the history of the cartel and the different members and all of that stuff, which I find super, super fascinating. But way down here in the corner, they give you a little bit of information on not really game tactics, like who's the best players to take on the bad guy, but just some things about them. So facing off against the cartel, Juan's custom shotgun can shred fighters and his, highly mo and his high mobility often puts him within range to use it. Fighters need to pin him in a corner or otherwise hinder his movement. He has cards to escape confinement, but you should have time to pummel him before he can reload and start firing again. Juan has lots of muscle with him in the form of Tyrone and Lucille, Pro, uh, provide, and Lucille provides her uh, allies with crucial defense tokens. Ignacio is highly mobile menace, making it difficult to focus solely on his leader. If you can manage his underlings, however, Juan won't stand a chance against an all-out direct assault. So that's kind of the thing. We need to pin him in a corner, beat the crap out of him, and uh, prevent him from moving around. Now, the book also has uh, all the scenarios in the game as well, or all the stages, I guess. And today we will be taking on, let me see if I can find it here in the book, uh, Gone Ballistic, which I think we have done before. This is like your base level, beginning level um, uh, stage, but it's specific to, uh, this one is for the kingdom, not necessarily the cartel, but it has to do with um, smuggling weapons around. And, it, and the objective tokens this time in the game actually boost your attacks. So it's going to be really important for us to get to those and add them on to uh, where we are at. Let's see if this is still... There we go. Now, the, again, I'm sorry. That's the only bad thing about an iPad 
there's got to be some way to get your iPad to connect to your PC without needing to use the, um, you know, the the app because there is a big delay between what I'm doing here and what you're seeing on the screen. So I was watching the replay of the last game that we did last week where I won, and it's like before you even see me hit, I'm already celebrating the fact that we beat along. So, eh. There we go. Uh, so each time a figure carrying an objective token suffers any amount of damage, that figure must discard one defense token. If they're not able to, that figure drops one objective token. Uh, activate. Resolve the objective effect on the inactive objective nearest the boss. Okay. And we can interact. If you're in a space with an objective token, you may pick it up. So I'm going with the same uh, fighters as we had last time. Uh, but it, uh, I think I swapped out Juan because I didn't want to use him as an ally. Uh, I think I swapped him out with... I forgot. Now we're going to have to look. Uh, when Juan unloads, resolve the unload effect on the 1812 Flintlock Carbine, which is one of the cars that you have to pull out. If engaged, Juan attacks, retreats two spaces, and gains one random defense token. Otherwise, Juan gains two random defense tokens and moves up to three spaces to be within four spaces of the nearest fighter. Sounds a little bit complex, but it's really not. He shoots, he moves away if he can... He has to have a certain number of, um, I think, tokens before he can unload. But once we're engaged with him, we could beat the crap out of him. Now, his hit points are 72, so this could take a while to get through. And so here we have our starting uh, figures again. Megan and Cairo and, and Natalia and, um, and the others. And then we can put Dimitri in. Uh, oh, this time I went ahead and grabbed Along. I figured since... He was defeated. He would be a um, a good character to have in here. And then Anastasia and Sarah both have ranged attacks. I'm not going to do any of the getting rid of any of the cards. And I think we can go ahead and start our turn. So we can see all of the objectives are out on the field as well as the boxes and crates. This game does not have one of the stages that I really like playing um, Juan with. It's one that has all these conveyor belts that are moving around. I don't think it is part of this initial launch of the game. But, you know, there are, going back to this book, if you have all of the, the complete Aftershock collection, there are one, uh, one... There are 29. Is that really how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are 30 different stages in this game that you can play. This one that we get right now, I think, only has 8 stages in it. Uh, but there are some really cool stages that have these conveyor belts and other things that can be done. And uh, it looks pretty fun. Okay, so... We're going to go ahead and get started with that. I'm glad to see so many of you here today. Uh, thanks for hanging out. If you have questions, ask. Uh, or maybe you guys had a fun weekend and you want to talk about all the exciting things that you did over the weekend. So feel free to share as we get started into today's game. <sighs> this is not what I wanted. Right off the bat... I have to discard a card from the play area, and I'm going to lose Dimitri. Dang it. Oh, no. Seriously? I just lost all of my... I just lost all of my allies in one... What does this card do? It doesn't say... But he unleashed his double barrel. Ah, oh. so this doesn't say what it does. So that that is a little suspect right there. But my gosh, just to instantly have all of my allies gone from this game, not good, not good at all. So let us move three, one, two. Let's see, one, two, three. Do one, two, one, two, three. Hmm. There we go. I'm going to have him move there. I'm going to have him interact with this. Fire, fire. 
And then we're going to see if we can get a tactic in here. We'll go ahead and put that one in because I'm going to gain a power each time. Yeah, this is not fun. If that's... I, I don't know. I would... I'm very tempted, depending on how this game goes. I, I'm almost tempted to just restart the game because that just feels like an unfair card to get out right away. But if it's truly random, then... Okay, fine. But I think I'm done with my turn. All right. Next fighter. Let's go with... Uh, Megan, and let's start her turn, because that's the other thing we realized after multiple weeks of doing this. When a fighter moves into a space adjacent to Juan, he retreats three spaces from that fighter. If he, if he retreated, Juan then gains two random defense tokens, unloads, and discards this card. Well, that's not good, because I am... I'm not next to him, but I am close. So, let us have Megan move three also interact with this so that we all have them. And then let's see if she has a tactic. Let's get the Barrier of Will at the start of the turn gain one random defense token. Uh, you and each fighter within three spaces of you may gain one defense token of your choice. Well, I don't think everybody is now three spaces away from her, so I can't use that yet, but I can exhaust it for myself. So I will do that. Draw a card. Now, the other two tokens are really far away, so I don't think my other characters can get it, but I know that Natalia, she can move three. Oh, finally, we get a, a bad guy that shows up, and the bad guy shows up right next to where I want to move. So she's going to move down here and grab this box and get some stink bombs. You can discard this card and move an enemy up to three spaces. So the question is, Tyrone only... He has a lot of defense, but he only has a health of five. Let's see what she has. She has... She has Snap Kick, which is a pretty good attack, but we want to try to get our tactics out. All right, and what is the one that brings it back? So that's Recon... Okay, we'll put that one into play. And then we're going to go ahead and attack this guy and get a crit right off the start. And we'll add some defense tokens. And remove two defense tokens. So he's going to take two. There's disarm. That's nice. What do we have over here on Juan? We have on alert. We could get rid of that. We can't, unfortunately, get rid of the flintlock carbine. I think this is one that we are not able to... Yeah, the card cannot leave play and cannot have more than two power on it. So we can't use it for that, but we could use it for on alert. Um, oh, she only hit him for two, so she didn't do any damage to him. So how about we go ahead and discard this one, two, three... Oops, one, two, three, and move him all the way back so that he's a little bit away from her. And we'll draw a card and get Brandon into play. Yes, I, I agree with you, Geeky Choreographer, when you get the throttle you down to two to uh, four cards that really sucks remove Juan from the map and place him in the empty space nearest the entry space that is furthest from any fighter then Juan unloads so he's gonna go here and he's gonna unload but he doesn't hit anybody he's too far away with his with his weapon so that gives Brandon a chance to move and I think I'm gonna move him this way. Chameleon Stance is pretty good, because it gains a plus one. And then I think, if I sprint, I don't think I can attack, so it would be ridiculous to try to get up close to 
this guy, although he doesn't have any actions yet. So I could sprint over here. Yeah, and too bad that those uh, those allies are not in a discard pile, because it would be nice to move them back. So I'll just complete my turn there. All right, bad guy. Let's see what you're going to do. He's going to get two. Select the... Okay, let's move him over here. Oh, and because I don't have any defense tokens, I have to drop that objective. Oh, and Juan already has one objective. So boo and bad. If he gets more than three objectives, the game is over. Okay, so recovered sidearm. What does that do? Mm, it doesn't have it there. So it would be nice to see what that does. Let us have... Who should we have start here? What does Megan have? Barrier of Will. Yeah, I think we're going to dance around Juan just for a little bit, although we do at some point want to get all of him into a corner as much as we as we can. Ignacio is is pretty bad. Deal the farthest fighter within five spaces of this enemy one general damage for each defense token this enemy has. Advance three spaces towards the nearest fighter attack, then retreat two spaces. Then if this enemy has no defense tokens, it gains three random defense tokens. This guy needs to go down. Uh, where do we have... Rush B should be pretty good. Move up to four spaces. Each time you enter a space during the movement, you may attack. So let's see if I can do this. One, two, three, four. So didn't take them either of them out. But I like Rush B. And we'll go ahead and attack. I should have used this attack on Ignatio since it... Let's, uh, let's see if we can undo last move. Undo last move. Yeah, maybe we start with... Maybe we start with this one. Just to make sure that he's exhausted. Then we use a Rush B. There, we got a crit. Oh, another crit. Okay, so that, that kind of was a little bit better. And then let's see if she can move three spaces. One, two, three. And then activate these. So it would have been nice to... Oh, hey there, Monkey Bananas. Hope you're doing okay today. Uh, let us say... Yes. Oh, I don't want to do that. Kevin Eleven is in the chat. Hello, Kevin Eleven. All right, our next fighter, let's just go to Brandon. He gets a Tyrone showing up as well. We could do a half-inch punch on this guy. How much does this guy have left? Oh, he's got three. He's still got a lot. So a half-inch punch. Oops. 
One direct damage, then retreat space... Uh, uh, target uh, suffers two direct damage. So we can take him out. So we will play this card, take him out, get a martial arts magazine. I will gain two random defense tokens. Then I will also move three up here. And let's see if I can interact with that to pick it up. So this, again, if you notice, it says uh, a figure deals plus one direct damage uh, during each attack for each objective it carries. If a boss ever carries three objectives, the, the fighters lose. So this does give me a little bit of a bonus to hit. All right, we will go ahead and exhaust this and grab this back. And then... Discard and resolve the combo effect of one card in your hand. Yeah, I think I'm going to skip that for now. And then activate all. I will go ahead and drop a defense token so that I do not have to drop my objective. All right, who do we have left? We have Kairu and Megan. So we'll start his turn. Put this bad guy into play. And then let's see where he can move. One, two, three, he's... Almost makes sense for him to try and pick this up. Interact with that. Then... Kind of hold on to that. I can't move anymore after I do that. I thought I could continue to move, but apparently not. All right, let's activate them all. Oh, if the enemy did not attack, the nearest fighter must discard one power, one defense token, or one card. So let's discard one power, even though I need those powers. And finally, we have Megan, who's going to start her turn. She's going to move down here. Yeah, let's punch this lady in the face, because she's got ranged attacks, which I'm not a fan of. And we took her out right away and got a lead pipe, and then we can select a path to move. Lead pipe is going to be super effective later on. I'll go ahead and just take a defense token. But now we need to start... Um, Uh, when is the GM Roundtable? It is 8 o'clock p.m. this Wednesday. That's 8 o'clock p.m. Central Time in the Discord server, so you will want to make sure that you are that you are in that Discord server and have your stuff uh, together. I'm going to just start his turn. Uh, this month's topic is... Uh, other games besides D&D. &D. How do you get your players uh, interested in the other game systems? What are some other game systems that are out there? Uh, and then, of course, answering your questions and comments. And if you have questions that you want to ask, you can either ask them live during the live stream, which, again, is at our Discord server, 8 o'clock p.m. Central Time, 
Uh, or you can go into the Discord server now if you're not going to be there and ask your question, and I will add them into the uh, into the show and get the panelists to to answer for you. So there you go. Oh, what was this tactic? Oh no, this is horrible. Well, I already started my turn. So, let's see what we get. Let's do an Eye of the Storm. Nope. Let's see, what does uh, Shockwave do? Attack. That is a... okay. This is only going to get rid of defense tokens. Oh, there's a minion that can block Wands' damage? Oh, boo. Okay, and then let's see. I think we're okay for the moment. Can I? In I can't interact with that. But I can move three over to here. Grab that. Then activate all of these and see what happens. Oof. I'm pretty sure this uh, guy has two defense tokens, so I'm just going to go ahead and use it to get rid of those defense tokens. Let's go to the next fighter, and let's go to... Ah, another Ignatio. Boo. So I have to move on to that. It's a shame that I cannot... I have enough defense tokens. Where I should be okay. Oh man, this is where I need disarm, right? But I'm still too far away. Shoot. Hmm, let me undo this a couple of times. I'm going to have her move up here. And then I'm going to use Disarm. Oh, where did he go? Oh, boo. Hold on. Because he's got that stupid tactic that if I move next to him, he backs up three spaces. That's stupid. All right. Never mind. All right, so what does he have? He ha Oh, I could do... Um, I could do punch damage on him. Critical hits. Eh. That guy's still not dead. Now these Ignatio characters are going to come on me pretty hard, I think. Uh, yes, we record it, and then I release it a couple of weeks after. But the most recent one is already out, so 
you can go into the archive and check that out. Let's see, he has some kick and some grapple damage. Whoops. So let's see what we have. Let's move three. Let's move down here. Let us use the flashbang to remove both of those. We can play this card against him, then use a lead pipe against him to get rid of him. Then I will exhaust this to get some defense tokens and complete my, whoops, boop, boop, boop. Then let's sprint. Hold on, let's undo that again. Undo last move. Undo last move. Sprint. Uh, I think I can only move three. Yeah, only move three, but that should be enough to then use this. To get everybody some more defense tokens. There we go. All right. Um, uh, his turn is already gone. Yeah, he's the last one left. Okay, well, let's start your turn, Brandon, and see what you can do. Okay, let's try to do a nunchuck a grab. And add that back into my hand. And then discard and resolve one combo effect. I think I will gain one power. Then I will attack this guy. No, there we go, enough to take him out. I don't think I gained any defense tokens, so let me undo that. I'll skip that. Let's see, one, two, three. I'm gonna try to keep everybody together, I guess. Yo, oh, he jumped. That is something that uh, I don't like. So he's in a spot where we could technically try to pin him in. 
he may jump away from us before then, so... Let's see if we can get Tyrone out of the way. Okay, got him done. Then let's move him close. One, two, three. He's getting close to maxing out. No, he's not. He's only got two power. This may target an enemy up to three spaces away. Oh, well, that's going to get rid of it. That's okay. Oh, I guess it's not. guy only has two hits left. I could move him three closer. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to move him three closer just so we can beat up on him. Then go to Natalia to start her turn. Just attack this guy and see if we can take him out. Not yet, huh? Darn it. I don't want to do that. So what do you guys think of this game uh, so far? We've been playing it a couple of weeks. Mm. Enemies adjacent to Lucille are immune to direct damage. She is pretty bad. She's only got a health of four. She is pretty... Okay, so let's read this. Discard this card to add plus two dice to an attack targeting a figure adjacent to you. So if I'm using one of my kick attacks... 
and I should be able to throw that in. Ah, boo. That ah, still took her out. Oh, let's see. I can... And then exhaust and get everybody some defense tokens. Except for Brandon. Brandon, what are you doing? Okay. Now it's Brandon's turn. Let's start his turn. I'm going to have him move down here. We're going to have him... Wow, this guy's out. I, that was uh, pretty heavy. I'm going to discard this to gain a card. Where is the red... Oh, Red Lucille is all the way up there. Hmm. This would have been nice if I would have had... Alright, now I'm charged up. It would have been nice if I would have had my allies in this... in this game. When this card enters play, play... Oh, he's going to unload. Hmm, I think... Yeah, this is general damage, so defense tokens aren't going to help. Ah, Juan now has two objectives. But! Ah, ha, ha, ha! Juan, you fool! Now it's time to just unload on... Now it's just time to unload on Juan. I already have Gathering Storm. No, I don't have Gathering Storm. I'll get three Tempest cards out of this. Okay, so that helped a little bit. Draw a card. I know, right? I need to punch harder. If only these guys could punch harder. All right, she's going to punch harder. She's going to do some kicking attacks. Ugh, Ignacio, I hate this guy. I'm going to use this one. I'm not going to move. I'm going to throw in the sneakers. Now, we're not doing a whole lot of damage to him right now.
I'm exhaust this and help everybody get some defense tokens. Oh, Brandon. Oh, she's not within... Not within distance. All right, well, we'll take him out. Oh, also not within distance. Resolve the channel effect? Heal one damage, sure. All right, I think we're going to complete that turn. I think, I'm, I think this was a bad move to try to take him in like this, but um, sure, why not? Megan, what you got? Oh, she's got disarm. Or, I'm sorry, Natalia. She has disarm. Choose to discard one card from the target? He doesn't have any cards. I will draw a card. Oh. Oh, boo! Because he has... What the what, man? Because he has something on him... Ah, uh, boo. Well, that sucked. Yeah, let's do the action on this. That way everybody heals a little bit. I'll just complete my turn and activate these boo heads. Problem is, this could be over pretty quick. I need a Hadouken or something to... Uh... Oh, but we do have... Aha! We do have... What do we have? We do have Half-Inch Punch... And he should not be able to move. Deal an enemy engage with you one direct damage and then retreat the target three spaces from you. If the target did not retreat the full three spaces, the target and each target adjacent to it, it suffers two direct damage. Will he be able to retreat? He has to be retreat three spaces from me. There is someone on his other side. We can always undo this, I suppose, if it doesn't work. Oh, damn it. Ah. <sighs> Freaking Juan. Frickin' Juan.
Is Brandon powered up? Yeah, Brandon's powered up. Okay, well, kind of worked in my favor a little bit. Whoa. Why is she moving towards those guys? Gosh, I cannot believe that. Yeah, I want this to go to release. It's almost ready. Oh, Stray Grenade. The fighter with the fewest minions in their threat area plays this card in their threat area. If this card is in your threat area, discard this card and deal three general damage to the figure up to four spaces away. Oh, no. Who's going to take this damage? Let's see who's going to be... Uh, ooh, Natalia can't. Megan can Oof. Okay. God dang it. Within four spaces of me, so we can get one, two, three, four. Okay. We might as well do this. Oh, select three enemies to attack. Well, we'll go ahead and do one, two, and three. Took one of them out, at least. Uh, I can't give it to Brandon. Target may target an enemy up to three spaces away. Oh, I can't use that. Boo. One enemy up to three spaces away. Let's see. We could pull him in. Sure, let's do that. Let's play this card. Let's draw that guy in and attack him. Oh, that wasn't enough to destroy him? Boo. Now we'll just... Oof. Ooh, what does Sky Strike do? Well, that that kind of blew. Too many Tyrones. Oops. He only has one. One regular 
So that'll take him out. I will go ahead and heal one damage. I'll move up here. And I'll attack this guy and throw that in. Get a lead pipe for my problems. Whoops. Let's see, how far away is that guy? That probably wouldn't be... Poor Brandon. Megan has a ton of... ton of defense tokens, so I'm pretty okay with her doing what she needs to do. And she can get a bunch of them back. Let's see, that guy has five plus three defense tokens. Okay. Ugh! I don't, I'm going, hmm, right now it's on iOS. Uh, that is all, it's on iOS and Android. That's all I know right now about the game. Uh, I don't know if this will be on Steam. Uh, I would imagine it will be. It would be foolish for them to not put it on Steam, but I can't speak for the company at this time to know what's going on. Hey, look for plot device. How are you today? They would, it would be great if they added a Great Nate, al, uh, great Nate O ally. Uh, hopefully he wouldn't be taken out on his first attempt. Oh, no. Blocked them all, at least. Hmm. Let us see. Who has... Who has what? Ooh, kick. Kick type, I might be able to take her out. He has one of each. He has grapple. I wouldn't be able to take him out. He has one of each. Let's see if we can take... What did we say? Dang it, I can't remember. Kick damage, okay. Uh, close, but no cigar. Now we could move up there. That's getting a little bit far away, and I don't think I can get three away. Let's do my action here. The way everybody heals up a little bit. I'm going to just move down into this guy. Ah! Stupid Juan moves over here to this corner now. Wow, I'm already powered up? That's pretty crazy. Yeah, 
I'll skip. Move one space and discard. Well, the good thing about these guys is that they... I'll just take the two power. Is that as long as we stick together, we can pretty much... Um, Yeah, I think we can pretty much... Okay, we'll attack Juan on this and see if we can get him. And then try Shockwave. Oh. Riding the Lightning, I can only do a feint of that one. That one is done. Shockwave, let us undo that. Last move since I already had Shockwave in my hand. Let us do this one, and let's move this one next to me, because then when we attack Juan, he doesn't have anybody that he can brush that power. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Well, let's try this again. Still not enough to take her out. God dang her! Uh, this is going to be a long one, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be... <laughs> this is going to be a long game. All right, let's get Megan up here so she's at least in the group. One, two, three. Whoa. Five general damage. Who's she getting five general damage from? Holy moly. Let's 
Let's try rush B. Wait. Uh, we have... Recon would be a great one to get back into. Hmm, let's see. One. One, two, three, four. Or one, two, three, four. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I think I'm going to use Rush B. Ah, curse you! Select a fighter to target? Why would I... Why would I target my own person? Whoa! That seems like a... That seems like a bug. You shouldn't be able to attack your own fighter. Hmm, something's screwed up here in the game. This is definitely a bug. All right, so let's move three. One, two, three. But why does she have to discard five? I don't understand why she, she's not breaking away from somebody. Maybe because she's too close to Juan? Hmm. Yeah, I'm afraid if I move, because we've seen that as soon as you move up next to him, he wants to run away. And what do I have in my discard pile? I have disarm. It would be great. Oh, but it has to be an attack, right? That is an attack. I mean, I'm gonna. I'm, I will definitely undo this if this doesn't work. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, that uh, that sucks. <laughs> Oof, <laughs> Brandon is gonna be. He's going to have his butt handed to him in a minute. We'll lead pipe this. Great. 
grapple attack, huh? Well, let's put that one into play. Everybody will get some defense tokens. And then... She's charged up. She's ready to... She's ready to go. But until we can get rid of these... How do we get rid of these? So we need to push in on him so he cannot retreat to get on alert. So I wonder if he has to retreat three spaces. Because if I did this twice and moved here and here, one wouldn't be able to retreat. Well, here's the thing. Let's do that anyway, because I've got three of these. Okay. She's got plenty. And then she can do this other one. Back him right into the corner. He can't do anything. Now, unload on his stinky behind. Well, let's see what Stage Dive does. No, we won't. I will do this one, and I will skip that one. I have him blocked now. I just need everyone else to move their butts up here. He's not going to be able to get up there. One, two, three, but he can get pretty close. Hmm. Let's see. Undo last move. Because how much does that guy have? He has enough defense to where I probably won't be able to hurt him. But let's see if we can get a tactic into play. Let's put that bite back at least into play. Let's move three. One, two, three. I'm worried that I could sprint up there to ensure. Oh, dang it! That's okay, we're getting him close. There we go. Oh, uh, hold on. I do have some things. He is powered up. Unfortunately, I can't do anything at the moment. Yeah, I'm sure.
Okay. Can handle it. Need to get Megan up there. Oh, that's a minion. So we'll undo that. Oh, sure. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, gee, many Christmas. This guy. Start your turn. Ooh, not good. One, two, three, shoot. I can't get close enough. Do I have one that lets me shift? Ah, here we go. Sky Strike. Let's play this. Let's move right to here. Hit him. Oh, got some defense tokens. Okay. I mean, I can get... Just move those two and gain a couple of defense tokens from that. No other actions that we can do. Oh, leaving Megan in the open like that is not good. Blocked all of it. Okay. Next fighter will be Megan. One, two, let's uh, start her turn. The stupid minion. One, two, three for her move. Then, ah, uh, shoot. Attack card from your discard pile. Yeah, I think it's time for Rush B. And then, yeah, she's not powered up either, is she? She's pretty close. I think we're okay with that one. <laughs> uh, I will try my best, Tixura. I will try my best. Let's see what Brandon is going to bring to the table. Viper Jab. You may move one space, then attack, then reveal the top card of your deck. You may resolve the combo effect. All right, let's play this card. He's done. Um, let's do the combo. We're done. All right. Uh, shoot, what do we have here? Combo, gain one defense token from your choice and deal one general damage to each enemy engaged with you. There we go. I will add it to my hand. Discard infiltrate to perform an attack, heck yes. And then commando... No, I'm going to leave that right there. Okay, let's... These guys are going to start moving in on us. This has me a little nervous. But as long... Oh, Megan, you are in a bad spot, Megan. Mm-mm-mm. All right, Megan, she's going to take care of all the people coming up. Because I don't think she has anything... 
Gain one defense token from each enemy engaged with you. Draw one card and deal. We can't do that one. That is a tactic, though. I don't have that one in play, so I will go ahead and start her turn. Ah! One! Oh, I hate this guy with a passion. Now we have so many bad guys out on the field. This is going to be... This is going to hurt. Okay, so I have some grapple damage that I can do. I think. Oh, I thought I put... Uh... Uh, this guy. <sighs> stupid one. Oh, stupid one. Doesn't matter. Just advance, you morons. No, not another. Oh, so when he... How did he... So apparently when I hit him enough times, those things go away. That's nice. That's nice to know. Oh, okay. Uh, two direct damage, you say, huh? I am tempted. Because this guy has, what, five? And he has things for everything? Direct damage? I'm tempted to just fling this thing across the room and just do one more direct damage to his head. Yeah, the bad thing is, uh, even if I do take down all the minions, deck reshuffles. Uh, see ya, Kevin11. Sorry, this one took a lot, is taking a lot longer to get through. I would love to get him taken da down. I'm going to skip that. I'm going to keep that in there. I could still take this guy out. Oh, I'm so mad now. Okay, well, at least I got all those powers back. 
I'll get some food back as well. But now Megan is in a bad spot. Uh-oh, another objective has entered play. That's pretty cool. I'll just do Eye of the Storm. Ah, oh, three defense tokens. Still didn't take that guy out. Ooh, that guy is... One, two, three. No, oh, sorry. Let's undo that. Uh-oh. She has captured an objective. That is not good. All right, this guy. Yeah, he's got so much. Does she have any punch? Whoops, sorry. She has no punching. damage. He could take grapple. He can handle kick, too, so... Ah, come on. Alright, well, start your turn, first of all. Mando is gone. Well, she's charged up, so she might as well kick this guy in the face. Stage drive, we'll put this into play. Then we will exhaust this and get tokens for everybody. Complete our turn. Oh man, thanks for hanging out for so long, guys. I know this is a a long battle that we weren't expecting. Hey, what, what's going on with M Mark Zuckerberg and that sunscreen that he has on his face? You guys see that? It's kind of scary.
I mean, I can understand being want to protect yourself, but my goodness. Two, two. What has she got? Whoops. What you got? You got a snap kick. Oh, what's the one that we lost? Commando. Maybe take him down, please. There we go. Brass knuckles. Nice. Ah. Now Megan is needs to... She will need to start first. Okay, what do you got that will... A flip kick might do it, but how much do these guys all have? I think you're going to set yourself up to be in a world of hurt. Oh, plus Brandon is all... Hold on a second. Brandon is... Brandon's all powered up again. Holy cow. I'm going to move three. Oh. What the heck? There we go. Oh, does that guy not? Oh, he must have had a defense token. Shoot. That's okay, I'm still powered up. I could do that whole... No, I can't do that whole thing again. What is the one that... Yeah, gain one defense token of your choice and deal one general damage to each enemy engaged with you. So that should take him out. Won't take him out. Viper jab. Here goes that guy. Oh, 
I will most definitely discard that. Discard this card to choose a space within three spaces of you. Each figure in or adjacent to that chosen space is dealt three general damage. Each figure, so that's not just each enemy. I'm going to throw it here. There we go. Now I can still play a card. Brandon is a monster at this point. So what do I want to do to this guy? He's got four. I'm going to go with... Oh, shoot. Choose one fighter to draw one card or move two spaces. So I am going to have her move two spaces over to here. I'm going to add it to my hand. Oh, and I still didn't get rid of that guy? Boo! Man... Ooh, now Brandon's going to take some damage. That's okay. Takes a damage. And he has that stupid... Oh, sorry. Let's, uh... A weapon jam. Nice. Well, maybe not so nice. Because now we need to get Brandon some heals here. God, I hate that guy. That's a tactic. I will always try to chip away at his... Okay, select three enemies to attack. Well, I'm going to attack him. Definitely going to attack him. I'm going to attack him, because none of those guys... There we go, one is out. There we go. Okay. I think we're done. He's powered up. Megan is now charged up. Or, I'm sorry, um, Natalia is charged up. We are going to do Natalia next. One, two, three. Oh, she can move up to seven? Holy cow, that's going to push him away.
Rush B is a really good one. So is Sonic Blade. But I have a Sonic Blade still. Oh, five will take me all the way over to her. Uh, that's okay. Time for her to... All right, what are we going to do? Let's see if we can't punch this guy in the face. Shoot, he's the one that needed the healing anyway. Dang it. This is just an attack. Oh, she's done. Ooh. People are getting too many defense tokens now. We need to take out the Natalias of the group. All right, you have to start your turn. Your movement's going to be really important. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. She can move. One, one, two, three. Still be. Oh, let's undo that. Sorry. Can she move? Oh, she can't move there. Okay. And we'll play this one. Attack this guy. No. Okay, oh. Ah, but I can't get too far away. Can she hand this? You may either give this card to a fighter adjacent to you or discard this card to heal three damage. All right, she's fine. I'm going to give it to Brandon. Good. Now, he can't use that yet. This game's going to be over. Shoot. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, let us discard it. Then let us... Okay, and then let us um, exhaust 
this guy because he's going to do too much damage. Move over here and grab that, which was a mistake. Oh, well, then we might as well get that guy going. Then we are going to sprint. It's only three. To get back over here. Whoops. Undo last move. Viper jab. Gain one power. Draw a card. And then let the boss go. And oh, I cannot believe he did not move. Okay, there you go. Juan has three objectives. Game over. Ah, uh, boo! Boo, I hate that jumpy round. I hate the escape card. I hate Juan's escape card with a passion because we had him in. we had him surrounded ladies and gentlemen also i'm just i'm just curious let's go back to this really quick because i am just curious enough to see if uh it doesn't matter dimitri sarah quinn uh along and anastasia Going against the cartel. And gone ballistic. I just want to see... If his first card is going to be... Nope. So Getaway was the first one. Okay, so it's fairly random then. Because that was, I think, that really hurt. Oh, thank you, Texora. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we got him down to, what, 60, 60 uh, points or something like that. Um, that first card that came out where it was discard a card just killed this entire game. Um... The game would have gone on much, much longer. I can tell you, the game would have gone on much, much longer if those minions had been around because Megan giving, or I guess I should say allies, uh, because Megan giving defense tokens to everybody and uh, Natalia giving defense tokens plus healing to everybody, that could have kept those minions alive. And the minute that we backed uh, Juan into the corner, if it wasn't for that damn escape, I could have put the, the uh, uh, allies ringed around it so as the minions came in, they could be picking them off from a distance or punching them up close or whatever it may be. Oh, that was fun. Now, that, that took a long time. That took almost, what are we at, an hour and a half uh, on this thing? Holy cow. That was a long, almost two hours on this time's uh, lunchtime game time. Juan is a tricky son of a gun, is what I will say about him. Uh, tomorrow we will be back. We'll do some Sagrada. We'll kind of mellow out. We'll just uh, we'll just uh, cool down and we'll chill out and play with some colorful dice tomorrow on the lunchtime game stream. And uh, certainly appreciate everybody who hung out with you. This is a really good look at at what uh, the Street Masters game is going to look like. I'll poke around some more. Uh, the Great NATO, if you're still watching, I will poke around a little bit more and see if I can find out what platforms this is coming out on. It would be ridiculous if this didn't come out on Steam, even though it is um, for Android and for uh, iOS. If it didn't come out for Steam, that would be crazy, and I hope it does come out for Steam. Uh, I have a feeling we have at least one or two more iterations of this beta to work through, because there were some... You saw that one bug where um, it was wanting me to attack my own players, and I, I think that's a bug. It may have said any fighter instead of enemy, but I think that was a bug, and I'll, we'll have to go back and look at the tape and see what was going on with that and see if that is something that needs to be done. But this game feels fairly complete right now. I hope they release it. I hope they release all the other cards, all the other characters as expansions, you know, four of them at a time, uh, four, you know, new villains at a time, or two and two, two heroes, two villains at a time with a scenario or a stage. I'd pay five bucks each for that and considering there are 30 stages in this thing and there are hundreds of characters to play uh, you could be into this game 
I hope they release it for free, uh, but it would be great if they released it for, you know, two ninety nine or something like that. I'm sure they're gonna be. It's gonna be much higher. That would be my guess. Just all speculation. But I could see dropping fifty bucks to get all the expansion stuff for this. Cause wow, I love this game. This is, ever since Brian bought brought the physical game to my house, and I thought it was he bugged me for months to sit down and play this game. And I was like, Ugh, I don't. It doesn't sound fun. And then we played it against Juan, and he kicked our butts. Uh, I've been hooked to, on this game ever since. So there you go. That is today's uh, Lunchtime Game Time. Thank you so much. Do good, be good. I hope you get the day you deserve. Wear a mask, wash your hands, uh, don't be a dick, and we will see everyone again real soon. <laughs>